Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 2v2 And for the main events, we have Team Sexy One versus Team Dazzle Science. Sexy One being Matt way too high on the bottom left in Yellow Rock. His teammate Ed. Uh, <laughs> this name is way too high at all. But uh, Ed is in red here. Down on top right. He got Latov and Luxi down on top left. And Latov himself down on bottom right. Let's fucking go! So after waiting for like an hour, we're finally here. Uh, because I need to take a break. Uh, I took a nap a little bit, but it's, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> we're here, we're here. So hopefully the game doesn't run for too long. I have maximum one hour before I need to go. And here we are for the main event. So Connor's game here, Latov and Luke's both going Soviet. Uh, Luke Z can play both Latov and Allied. I think Latov's a little bit better in, in his Allied. Ed can play both. And Matt can... I think Matt will be, will be better Allied, actually. That's why I'm, uh, I'm interested to see or know the reasoning why Ed is the one going Allied instead of Matt going the one going Allied. Uh, I believe Ed can play both really well. And I think Matt can play both really well as well, but I think his Allied is way better. <clears throat> way better in a TV2 situation than the Soviets. So we'll see how this pans out. The last time we saw this combination was him against... It was Matt, Matt and Ed versus someone where they lost pretty heavily. I don't remember who it was. Was it Marco and Legend? Might be Marco and Legend. Just Ed and Matt. I think that might be it. Where they lost, uh, they lost quite heavily to the double so from Marco and Legend, and I believe Matt was Soviet then as well. So we see, this is our S class uh, matchup showdown that we're seeing here today. So uh, lots of them towards the bottom left here, pushing onto top right. We see Luke T getting droned from Matt. And look at this double here onto bottom right. Both Matt and Ed positioning down towards lots of. Is Luke gonna be of any use here? Ed selling his MTB after getting that AFC up. Looks like Luke does make it so useful with some sentry guns. And then now he's sending some reinforcements down to his top right. Harry gets that flag down to lower health. In comes Matt again. So Luke's pushing it down to his top right. That pulls away Ed from Latov. So that's immediately something that you want to take note for those budding 2v2 enthusiasts out there. Repairs that flag with the service depot. You love to see it. So Ed setting is to be a little bit, pr a bit early, might be too early. We'll see. If it was too early, the rest of the players do decide to keep their MCVs. Uh, I think Ed might have been planning for a bit of a longer game there. Good attempt at the dodge, but the Rocketeer should be able to overpower it here. Oh, Ed. Ed, will he be able to overpower over the flag? Be over the flag. Does survive through and through. But Ed is here down towards the bottom right. Along the top though, Lucy trying to push in again, but... He'll see a pushback by Ed. Ed pushing down towards the bottom right at the same time as well. Lucy does have a one factory near there. Pushing through here, Ed trying to snap a couple miners out of the way. One miner goes down. Second miner about to go down. The flag has been targeted. Rocket is around the back now. Matt is doing the thing that he always does and just chilling in his own base. Luke T has barely made any contribution in this game. And in comes Matt down to his bottom against Latov. Latov out tanked. Latov out tanked. The rest of his tanks were going to his bottom right to help defend against Ed. And Lucy low power. 
Let's get a flat cannon up, but it's out of range. And the Latov has been defeated. Luigi has been defeated. And the first point does go to a Seam Sexy one. And a quick succession. Okay, into the second game. Alright, see if I'll, I'll I'll take notes if it does go on for a little bit too long. I'll do the second game here on Dawn of Peril. Seeing a front coming out here out of Luke Z. So Luke Z is going to be top right. His teammate uh, Latov is going to be on the top left. Then we got Matt bottom right and Ed bottom left. So Ed's second to America. We got a France coming out here out of uh, Luke Z. Immediately he walls in his MCV. Just to protect it so the cannons can be a little bit more useful. So top versus bottom. And on a map like this where you're so rich of eco, I think the front pick would be ideal. Uh, because there's a 2v2 rather than a 1v1, the, most of the focus will not be down towards middle, but there will be some focus towards middle, of course. But I think most of the uh, most engagements will be lateral and horizontal. So wherever they go towards each other, but it's top versus bottom. So we might see a focus down in mid. Let's see here. Uh, I'm not liking Luke Z's build, but he is France, so he's moving forward. He's gonna have to move, uh, get the gems in the back somehow. See that dodge, nice dodge. So we're seeing Rockies out of uh, Ed here. Rockies out of Ed, Harrier's going for that flak. And the drone is trying to get those IVs actually. But in comes Matt. No AFC out yet from Luke Z. And that drone will take care of that Rhino if he sure sees it to be. How is it gonna... It's gonna be tough here. So Rocketus, Rocketus are coming down to the top right as well. Well, Latop desperately has to help his teammate here. I think the double up onto the top right. It's gonna be pretty brutal for them to defend against those Rocketus. Good number Rocketus as well. Plus that paragraph from Ed. Latov not coming in to help. Does he have enough? Flat cannon comes out from Latov. He needs those flags to deal with the Rocketeers. The GI's on the back. Saying the game sucks. GI's on the back does take care of the refinery. Team Sexy One, very, very dominant here. And then they come again, doubling up onto Luke. Latov, where is he? He needed to stay in his teammate's base a little bit more here. To support his teammate. Not even giving Luke Z the opportunity to go for a single cannon for that AFC. And now in comes Ed with the rock, uh, the Grizzly, sorry, onto the left side. And even more rhinos coming on the right side from Matt. Latov can't be in two places at once, so he needs to commit to one of them. Looks like he is going to commit and split onto that right side. He's going to come on the left side here. Onto Ed. War Factory is going to get hit. War Factory is going to go down. In comes Latov. Split. Does he have enough here? He needs a cannon at least to push them back. But even though with the cannons, he should be able to push them all the way back. And Latov doing a dip in Mizu. A Duval here, turning around. It's gonna meet Matt's rhinos along the bottom side, reinforcing as well. Luke Z as well needs some uh, needs some help. He needs to help his teammate here. He is leaving Latov isolated in his own demise. But it looks like Matt is gonna pull away from the engagement. If he would have stayed in with Ed, he would have probably won that. But Luke now give him some time to rebuild. Finally, he's going to get the second patch of gems. The cannon comes up for him. That's off making his way onto the first ground. First level. Luke just sniping or turning the head of that cannon. That's S on it, bro. So we've got Desos out now for Latov. 
Got a flag coming in there, so they're supposed to get sniped. And the left side here from Ed is going to attack. He's going to use the Desus to defend down that middle side. While committing all of his runs around the back. Where is Luke? Where is Luke? Where is Luke? Luke is nowhere to be seen. Latar transitions into Rhinos. Looks like Luke's going to try and use the cannons as defense. Instead of helping defend with Rhinos, uh, Grizzlies themselves. Even more flag getting destroyed here from Ed. Dazzle is going down. Ed now coming back to his middle, snapping yet more miners. Luke's going to come in and try and defend his teammate. But does he have the tank control? He doesn't have the Rocketeers to deal with it as well. So much ship damage done. I thought going to chase Matt all the way around to his teammate's base. And this middle expansion from Latov is going down. I'm going to the refinery. Latov's still fighting like a champ though. Still waiting to push on. He needs some help from Luke to defend his base. But unfortunately it looks like Luke's not going to be able to provide him with any help at all. Yellow got hit with a double really early on. I think he's try, still trying to re rebuild here. He's not building anything from his... There you go, now he's building. Yeah, Luke got hard, hit really hard with an early double. And then comes that off and Matt down towards the bottom left here onto Ed's base. Matt gonna win that fight pretty comfortably. Gonna run into Ed's GIs as well. Back on top right, Luke Z defending with some Rocketeers. The drones here have been pretty useful in helping him defend as well. But once Matt comes back up and rolling with his good number of rhinos, it should be the end of those cannons and the end of Latov's rhinos as well. This is some high level gameplay, but a uh, little bit of a disappointing showing here from Luke Z. And spinning on the left side to snipe more miners. Luke got hit really early on with the double, and after that, it just kind of got lost. It was never seen in the game after that. It took a little bit too long to recover and wasn't able to provide light up the support he needed. And now Luke is broke. Ed is broke. Matt has 65k. And Latov has 30k. Matt isn't even building anything from his war factories right now. This surely is game number two over and done with. But both of them still putting up a really good fight. Uh, hopeful, hopeful. But uh, this seems to be GG. I don't think Luke can come back from early. He has no minus. Absolutely zero minus. Player defeated. There we go. Player defeated. And that's 2-0. Can I lead to team 61? That's paper cut by the way. No points of authority. How dare you? How dare you, Chris, get that song wrong? You're a fake fan. You're a fake fan, you. And let's stupid those specific stupid us. So we're moving on to Yin Yang here. Uh, that double serve on the left side still, well, fuck, <laughs> still uh, showing up here. But Team Sexy One clearly has a game plan. Both of them have played with each other for a really long time. They've known each other, they're good friends, they squashed their beef previously. And they know how each other plays and the chemistry is absolutely immaculate. Meanwhile on the left side, the combination of Latov and Luke might look good on paper, but currently it doesn't seem to be coming into fruition anytime soon. Simply because we're unsure of Luke Z's place on in 2v2 is in Latov. In 2v2 he's kind of a he's kind of a camper, right? He 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 does sort of a mat kind of playstyle in camps. Uh, and does well in the mid to late games. Not saying that doesn't well in 
early game. But I think that uh, he's a lot better in the late game. So we'll see whether they can come up with any sort of wacky inflatable arm flaming booth uh per booth man here on Ian Yang. But they specifically asked what maps they pick pick spots on. So it might be that uh, Latov is looking to reinforce Luxi or just play into this playstyle a lot better with that double soap, uh being able to support each other in uh, very short distances, distance sets, and generally not being isolated like Condon Apparel. Billy was seeing Matt now going allied and Ed swipping, swipping, swapping over to Soviet, which we're going to see lots of camping from Ed. And the power drops, especially with his double power drop on America, will be very, very useful in this case. We're already seeing a first, uh, first defensive power drop from Matt to go along the top. And we're definitely going to see lots of power drops coming in here. Uh, by this cliff, by this entrance, by the middle, by down here. You know, power drops are really, really useful, especially on Yin Yang, just to convert that uh, choke points everywhere. So Latov looking at spin out towards the bottom <laughs> and killing some gold. Look at this movement here from Matt. Seems like he doesn't want to camp. It seems to be pushing forward, actually. Pushing forward with those GIs. Luke is going to have to do something here. GIs do get run over, but it's going to go for those Grizzlies. Another paradox coming in for Matt. He's going to have to be careful. The desert right there. The desert, desert does get sniped. Before it gets deployed, Luke runs over one para drop while Lata builds down towards our bottom left hand side. Matt already up onto the lab. There's a Connie para drop down the back. Matt does not see it and it will get sniped. So they're laying the lab once again. Gasolator. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. It's, it's, uh, it's 7 a.m., almost 8 a.m. <coughs> Nice that's still there from Luke. And the Luke just pushing down to the top right. That snipes that refinery. He's gonna snipe that airport as well. That power drop is gonna be really useful to get snipes and he's gonna get the fuck out of dodge. Meanwhile, Ed trying to defend. Not allowing Latov to push through. He's gonna pull back just slightly. The left did get sniped and does get rebuilt. Luke is trying to snipe it once again, but he gets stuck between the rock and the hard place. Both players pulling back. And Latov and Luke, a much better performance this round. Lots of damage being done. Not much isolation, actually, between the both of them. So, Connie Pedro are gonna get that power out of the way from Ed. Latov pushing it down towards the bottom. Does get met with uh, heavy resistance from Ed. The power drop gets rid of the power plant. It's gonna go for that refinery next. At pushing away Latov down towards the bottom along the top, Luke still trying to push in. Power drops from Matt again. Campy defending playstyle. And Latov looking to win that fight down towards the bottom. He out tanks. He's gonna go up that cliff and probably snipe a couple of miners here. Luke making it through down towards the middle as well. Snipe two miners from Matt. And one from Ed. And look at this double Soviet. Pushing all the way through here. Luke pulling around, getting the elite, trying to snipe those Mirages out of the way. And lots of mine is going to snipe here. Much better showing from uh, Latov and Luke. And down goes Ed. And down goes Matt. And here we go. We have a series on our hands. 2 1. Winchell is better soap than Latov. Fuck off. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> Jungle of Vietnam. And this is where the real men come to play. <clears throat> Fucking voice cry right in. So we're on to jungle of Vietnam, arguably the best 2v2 map out there. And teams are Luke down on top left, looks to be at top right. Got Lata bottom right and then Matt down on top left, so corners game. So the corners game here for them means it's gonna go, definitely gonna go zero here, lots of early game pressure. And we're gonna see lots of zero miners from the wall factory here 
not enough time to camp uh, even though I think Matt will still be a little bit campier oh, on the campier place all, uh, side than normal Ed's definitely gonna go zero here I think most definitely Ed's gonna go zero it's quite rare that in the corners game he does not go zero he might go Rhino Drone or Drone Rhino then send that drone down to top left goes Rhino first that means that drone is pretty ooh nice Up drone Rhino the mag comes out of that AFC pretty quickly a drone thing coming zero from Eddie yep So zero from Ad, Latav goes one, Luke goes one, Matt goes one. And then Ed immediately pressuring down onto top left. We got double flag out from Luke, but he's not expecting this double. Oh, this rush from Ed. He does have a sentry gun out. Three rounds to one, Latav reinforces with his sentry gun as well. That's gonna do some decent chip damage, not repairing it. And bear in mind that drone is still there from Ed, so if let's say Latov does decide to push down on top right, he'll probably get sniped with that drone. And here he comes, Latov. On the left side, Luke just trying to push in and get sniped with the flag looks like neither players are choosing to engage just a little bit, little, little bit passive uh, man going to camp here of course and want to see those paradox move to its actual point a little bit better Anelkin Skywalker? Sure. Rocky is from Matt going down towards the bottom right. Flag does push it away. And the engagement on the left side here. Luke against Matt. A little bit under... A little bit underwhelmed there. Luke needs more Rhinos. And Latov and Ed still going at it down on top right. Rocket is coming once again from Matt, hopefully to help him, but the very well placed flag cannon behind the tree nonetheless does help him push away an advancement still passively building up. Latov has to be careful, he doesn't want to get caught here on that cliff with some tank control. Does have fodder though. Is the Latov against Ed SVS. Matt goes into his bottom right, so Luke should be going in as well. Your finally goes down. That's good team play there from Ed to uh from Matt sorry to pull away the rhinos from Latov that were in Ed's base. Oh, prism towers out good micro from luke oh but that's it i don't think that's a good engagement for luke the deso should be coming in straight after and he didn't deploy the deso either matt's gonna be able to overwhelm and overcome him on the left side matt coming all over luke on that top left hand side of the map out tank will be two to one and there's a ratio laptop's gonna try and pull away matt from uh, luke's uh luke's base Snap a couple miners here. Is Matt gonna pull away at all? Got pair drops coming in for Matt as well. Then on top left, and now Ed spinning up onto the top left as well. Got one elite, no war factories, no MCV out from Luke. Ivor, what's up? That is rough. 
very, very rough from Luke there. And now Luke's been defeated. Matt's going to be able to make a stroll down to his bottom left. Bottom right, sorry. Death was coming in now for both players. Control shifted. That's obviously putting up a really good fight, but unfortunately he has lots of grizzlies in his own base that he needs to deal with. Right now he's just a death host, that's going to prevent Ed from going that way. Oh, uh, Ivor, my voice is gone, man. My voice is absolutely gone, and I need to go somewhere after this. <laughs> it's 8 a.m. in the morning. I think Ed, Ed and Latov here has been... Ed, Ed, the, the engagement to Ed and Latov here has been purely from Latov. Ed is, I think, trying to go forward, but he's trying to bait Latov into into his own base. So both players just sort of camped and wait because they knew that Latov and Luke would be the one aggressing. So they sort of faked out with that aggression aggression right at the start. And then after that, they pulled back and wait for them to push. And you know, Matt is a, is a master of camping in 2v2s. And it, they kind of just like camped and wait for them to push. And it perfectly played into their hands. Perfectly played. All right. On Jedi DMZ. And on match point as well. 3 to 1 currently to Team Sexy 1. And Team Sexy 1 starting on the left side. While Team Deso Science on the right side. Uh, Necrons, I believe Chris can answer your question on that. Chris can answer your question on what song it was. He knows it. <laughs> So in Tenai DMC, we've got double serve again from uh, Luke and Latov. They saw it work really well on Yin Yang, where they could support each other. Uh, on DMC, slightly further apart, so they might not be able to support each other as much. They might be a little bit more isolated than usual. <coughs> <laughs> Sorry, Chris. Oh, Steve, who's a pussy now? Come on. It looks like Latov is going to build off that pair drop. Uh, pre -capped? I I don't think it's pre -capped. I think it's pre -capped. It's an interesting build from Luke. So Latov's gonna be on with the eco on that big gem patch. Uh, I don't think Luke is gonna build towards that big gem patch anytime soon. Uh, is he gonna be on that smaller one? But he does go Z. He goes one. He goes one. Is he gonna pressure up on that minor? Uh, Matt responds by microing it back, and then uh, going straight Grizzlies. Ed goes one minor. Latov gets his drone, repairs it, and goes. Finance. Interesting. So, Luke just trying to pressure up onto Matt there. He is now broke. Only Zook. Only Zook. Oh, what's up, man? Sort of follow. I try to run the back uh, from Laptop because the guy's in that building. Nice snap down that pill box. I think Matt just micro his miner away. A rocketeer killing the garrison building now. Uh, Luke making a push forward here. It's a little bit of uh, map dominance, map control there in that area. Have to be careful though, Matt's really good at retaking the spaces. Another character coming in from Matt. Luke, can he micro it? Fight's happening on two fronts here. Looks like Latov against Ed. Latov while tanking Ed by quite a bit there. And the power drop from the garrison building does go down. Lights up now with some death souls from that radar. And Luke still keeping out the pressure and not allowing Matt to help his teammate at all. So a little, more, a little bit more isolated in this case. And Ivor with the thousand biddies! Holy shit! Adds my man. Hell yeah, brother. I stream rarely, but once in a while, it's gonna be as big as this. The main event. For the thousands in attendance and the millions watching worldwide. 
This is pretty tense here. So Lucas has been putting up pressure constantly onto Ed, onto Matt. Sorry about that. off. Ed making a wrong move there, going across that bridge and says, get out of my area. Oh my. Oh my. Ed making a huge mistake there. Well, let's see how Latov capitalizes on this mistake. One man does get sniped. It's gonna come back into that fight and look at a tank control from both of them. Ed has a nearby war factory. So Latov has to be really careful here, not overcommitting. The snipes match minor as well. MCB does get sold and Latov surely has the micro to pull this off. Luke desperately wants to push forward as well, but there's a couple of mirages that he doesn't want to push all the way through. All Latov needs to do is take care of that war factory. He needs to die for it. Alt it. Fucking hack into the game and kill it. Down it goes. So Ed solely out of the game here. Only minus left for Ed and three rhinos that should be easily dealt with. And a dazzle bomb from Luke. With the flags there as well. So remaining one rhino from Latov is all that's left between the 61 of victory and Latov Luke just needs to hold and wait for Latov to do the remaining damage Matt has quite a number of rocketeers uh, Latov should be getting some flak and there you go the flak is here he has an elite as well in that fight and Ed has been defeated Matt, can he make a comeback here against two Soviet players? One coming around his back door. Luke is gonna go gung ho all the way in here. Walks past some Rogers and then collects on them individually. Down goes that army and uh, Matt goes on as well. And the score is pulled back to 3 to 2. What a game! What a game there, boys. Holy shambles. Desolation Science is a way, way too long of a game. Short. Oh, it's so shortened it. <clears throat> Alright, code is penis. I mean, code is peak. Here we go. Still on match point here. 3 to 2. It is Desolation Science's one and only chance to bring it up to game point in total. Serious point. We got Luke on the left, Latov in the bottom. We've got Ed up top, and then Matt Korea on the right hand side. So we have bottom left for the stop right. Yep, bottom left for the stop right. On quarter speed. So Korea here uh, <coughs> would be one of the interesting choices. I would think that America would be the better choice here. I guess if he wants to snipe uh, some rhinos, it could work. But then again, uh, considering that there's not many choke points that you can take advantage of with the American power drop, so I would see how uh, I would see why uh, Matt would choose to go Korea instead. So immediately we're seeing a drone, double drone air combo here onto the left side. So drones coming in for any flag that might come out or the miner. That top needs to support his teammate in this good sentry gun timing. And the flag as well is gonna take out that uh that refine that the miner. Yep, it absolutely is gonna take out that miner. Got a hidden flag cannon somewhere. <coughs> nope, no flag cannons at all. And in comes Matt now with that aggression. Sorry, Ed with that aggression from along the top. Gonna try and snap another miner, which does get droned again. Luke getting doubled here. Amazing teamwork from uh, Team Sykes in one. Is it gonna force Luke to lose his second miner? Oh, down it goes. Luke uh, loses two miners right in the early game here. <coughs> to the flak. To the, sorry, to the drone rocketeers and to the drone rhinos. Double drone from Ed. Absolutely perfect plays there. So Latov is going to be the one to try to turn these things around. AFK Miner does get pulled back. Flax do get sniped. And Luke is going to have to take some time to try and recover here. <coughs> Excuse me. Latov desperately trying to 
gives Luke some time, but how much time can he give Luke here? How long can he hold up against a team like T1? This specific situation where Ed has out tanking Latov. And even uh, Matt is out tanking Latov here. So Ed might just keep the pressure onto Luke here to not allow him to uh, regain that sort of eco at all. That's absolutely what it's gonna do. It's gonna snipe even more miners from Luke. <coughs> Latov trying to make a move towards Ed's base. And then using the drones on the Grizzlies as well. That's good. Good gameplay. But that one singular Rhino might call. Oh boy. Oh, that third Rhino going down. Third Miner going down for Luke. Just double onto Luke here. Team Sexy One definitely knows how to abuse the weak points in the Deso Science team. Just surely Luke here is the clear weak point. Good defense out of Latov. And he does survive. There's two Miners left. With one wall factory, not the worst thing in the world, but in comes another round of attack here from Matt from the right side in that air armada. Snipes that engineer for some reason. And then a flat cannon behind that laptop still trying to make some moves. They're not out of there just yet. So look now has a little bit of eco. Latov does not have eco he needs to regain that eco and micro does mine is a little bit better decent rhino numbers here for both matt definitely not looking to camp on this one Ed looking to split down towards the bottom on the left side even more air units coming in i think it's any air units that come in will get sniped one shot by the eagle so it is very, very annoying to deal with Korea in this case, unless you have a massive number of eagles. But Luke's war factory, he needs to save it as much as he can here. It does go down eventually. And Latov's MCV almost gets killed. One eagle will do the trick, so he needs to be careful uh, here, Latov. But he's gonna safely escort it anyway. And what is this NGIV going around the back? Multi engineer is on, my guy. I guess multi NG will take out that MCV. Good dodge. Oh, look at Ed. Almost getting killed there. Almost killing that MCV. Luke does come in and save the day, but he does get drawn with quite a bit. That's how I'm making a push in towards Matt's base now. Rocket is coming in, coming around the back. That's off. Can he survive this? He should be able to survive this, but Ed is now coming to Latov's base to help his teammate out. Luke. Connie Bomb coming in down towards the top. No Rhinos in sight, because the War Factory did go down, and Latov does defend against Ed, and pulls away from Matt at the same time. So this conscript rush is, uh, this conscript bombs absolutely everything now for Luke. He needs to keep Ed busy, while Latov takes care of Matt. Flag's on the back, doing some work. Matt skillfully targets one of the flag. Latov now building down towards the bottom left, which means that he will have some sort of eco to help him here. Ed realistically needs to ignore this and go straight for the miners, but he is being distracted by those conscripts at the moment. Ed now moving tends to be down towards the top left inside of the map. Finally, he realizes it and just bull dives into his uh, Luke's base. Get rid of that barracks. Good dodge once again from Latov. And here we are, Ed finally making a beeline towards the bottom left. Latov gets a War Factory update. Is he gonna prime it? Get some drones up. Matt is doing an amazing job at holding here, waiting for Ed to do most of the dirty work. One miner goes down, second miner goes down. Drones coming out of the War Factory. More drones now from Ed. As I'm doing as much as he can here, but he's only limited with uh, whatever he has. And now Matt can come in all the war factory. Deso comes out for Latov onto that barracks. A good damage done. Is it enough? 
Is it enough? One war factory left for a lot of. He has been so broke lately. With the amount of times that his miners are getting sniped. Now he comes in around the back of Matt's base. Desperately trying to run away from uh, those drones. Matt pulls back now. Can he get a war factory out before Matt comes back? He does. Can he get out there alive though? He meets the drones in the way and the elite the grizzly. It is not looking good for Team Death Science at the moment. Luke trying to mine for his teammate. Still in this game. There's still one war factory left for Latov. And drones coming in now for both Ed and Latov. But at this stage, when you're so far behind. And your opponent literally has 10k in the bank. Is it enough? We don't think so. I definitely don't think so. This is definitely a GG. For Team Deso Science. What a valiant effort though. That's tough. Holding up two players at once with some masterful tank control. War Factory goes down. And even though the score is uh, 3 to 4 3 to 2, about to be 4 to 2, definitely not a representation of what the games were. The games were extremely close and very, very much entertaining. GG! GG! Everyone go shame Luke Z on Discord. Fuck no, dude. Don't shame him at all. He did great. He did, he did whatever he can, bro. Steve, why don't I put you in there with Latov? And see how you hold up against Ed and Matt. Huh? You wouldn't do any better, man.